Yo, hey, what is good? It's your boy, The Wolf. Tune in. Another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Oh, today's topic, today's main topic, I should say. Lucid Motors, CCIV. Obviously going to talk about the Robin Hood overall. Some goals that are, ooh. Goals there in mind from Ryan Robinhood account as I start to grow this little bad boy into something nice. But man, oh man, let's start with the main, the main headliner, CCIV potential merger with Lucid Motor Air. And if you don't know what the Lucid Air is, I suggest you look that bad boy up right now. It is, oh my goodness, it's a thing of beauty. Not just that, but this is like the next whip I need after a Tesla. After I get my Tesla, I'm going to need a Lucid Air. Why? Ooh, there's so many reasons why. But you got to you gotta realize this this. The CCIV stock, do you know what it did? Oh my goodness, folks. Y'all not hearing me. So on Friday, we know when the markets close, because you know, stocks is money through Friday, crypto is seven days a week. So on Friday, when it closed, ooh. Oh man, it closed at $23, like 41 cents. And then, uh, your boys, you know, yours truly, you know, on that on that single day return, 31% total return, up 28% already. Yeah, off a hundred dollars, something real small. Had to take it, you know, a little risk, a little risk, because now there's speculation going on saying, oh, don't buy the star because, you know, it's not official that loose it's going to be, you know. Or CCIV. Well, it's two outcomes to look at that. Well, if you don't invest, you don't take a risk, you could be missing out because, folks, y'all not. Mm, have you seen the whip? The whip is, like I said, this is. I can see this being Tesla's competition. Mm hmm. And as we go into the EV market and the future of cars and all that good stuff. I think this has got to be top two, at least, right? I mean, ooh, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bag. It's a little bag, but but for what you're getting, oh, man. It's, folks, oh, where should we start, folks? Where, should we start on the exterior? Let's start on the exterior, man. Like, the, the way the bad boy looks, it's just, it's like, ooh. Looks different, man. Just it says the elegance of aircraft, like a jet. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the front looks looks very futuristic, man. Like this is this is something that when I actually see on the road up close and personal, like ooh, look at this bad boy. It's got a solid glass, campy roof. Framed in satin finish aluminum. Ooh. It spans their entire cabin without interruption. Occupants, both front and rear, will enjoy the incredible view. So look at the view looks. I'm looking at this pic right now, and the view looks. Ooh, looks view looks something crazy. Uh but the trunk, bruh. Trunk looks something crazy. Like the way it opened, look like the way, ooh. The technology that's going in here. You can put a surfboard in this bad boy. Uh, the way it maneuvers is just, ooh, it's nice. Like, the rear end of the car, just the single, the single light is just, it's different, man. It's like, okay. It's it's talking. It's, it's talking a big game right here. And you can design it how you want. It's just, ugh. Oh. It's just that's it's just nice, but hey, you know what's really wild though about this lucid air is the performance, folks. I'm hearing that you're gonna be able to 
drive from L.A. to the Bay. No problem. You know why? Let's talk about these numbers here, folks. Let's talk about these numbers. Let's dive in. Max horsepower? Listen up, listen up, listen up. 1,080. Yeah, you heard that correctly. 1,080. Huh? We're talking about electric vehicle, folks. 1,080 horsepower? This is the max horsepower up to? Huh? That sounds kind of nutty. Uh, the range. Parentheses extended pack and miles up to 517. Very, very solid. Very solid. Over 500 miles. Yeah. You're, you're pushing to the bay and whew. <laughs> I got max power. <laughs> max horsepower up to 1,000. Oh, you might get to the bay in two and a half hours. Minutes to charge to 300 miles. DC fast charge. Only 20 minutes? That's... It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Quarter mile takes you 9.9 seconds. Zero to 60 in as quick as 2.5. 2.5 seconds. Hello. Single charge can get you from the Bay to LA? Say what? This, this, this battery pack is packing some. It's packing some heat, folks. This is, this is, <laughs> the anticipation is just, because these cars are supposed to be getting delivered in springtime here, folks, 2021. Their goal is to have about, what, 20, 20 stations throughout the states. So they got another station that popped up in South Florida. Uh, seems like, you know, the East Coast going to have a good chunk of stations. Manufacturing's coming out of Arizona. I'm telling you, man, if you haven't taken a look at CCIB and the whole Lucent Motors merger, I think there could be something big. Because, let's, let's be honest, I don't think right now it's, I don't think you could really say that Tesla has like legit competition right now. But with this lucid air and what they trying to do and how many charging stations they're gonna have, that's see that's gonna be the key. The key is always the charging station, like right? especially with this being a new EV, it looks like it's you know well, I mean how many we gonna get? I'm talking about twenty by the end of the year. Are they gonna be putting them in all the major cities first? Like, who, I know, I know, LA's gotta be priority on that list because I see they attacking the East Coast, Miami, and Florida. Florida got two stations now. I'm hoping as we progress throughout the year, they'll start to make some announcements on the cities because you, because I'm thinking they gotta put a charging station obviously in LA, Vegas. I'm thinking those two that's gotta be on the list. Um. Obviously, they'll probably have one in the bay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a couple. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to have some in Texas. Uh, so, that's going to be really interesting to see. The very first losing air on the, on the freeway on the street. But you're going to have to drop a nice little baggie, though. You know, the first trim is starting at like 70 bones. I learned they got three trims though. I haven't seen the other trims it's like pictures or anything like that, but all I know is Ooh, I'm hoping with the <laughs> with this here uh investment I'm doing hoping that we can uh go ahead and uh Take advantage of the stock and possibly go ahead and get me one with the stock, to be honest. That's nothing. They got some luxury SUVs coming in 2023. 
long range electric driving SUV Who's the air what's your sedan project gravity what that sounds sounds wild some of the picks look wild not gleaming not going to lie to you utility 2.0 lucid space concept approach maximizes interior space by cleverly packaging the miniaturized yet powerful lucid electric drivetrain with room up to for up to seven full-size passengers what project gravity resets the bar for the class of luxury suvs delivering the benefits of electrification to wide open spaces everywhere Yo, 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 this, like I said, man, ooh, man, start buying this early, five years from now, ooh -wee. it's gonna be interesting, folks, this is very interesting, very, very, very interesting. It looks like uh, hmm, I can search where the charging station. I mean, I'm, ooh, look like the dashboard, like the ooh, the inside of this thing looks crazy. Like the tech that's in here, man. And it looks like you'll be able to charge it at home. So you will be able to have that at home charging station so that's it's definitely good to know so that's what I'm saying Ooh. But I'm trying to see let's see what locations they got I wanna try to think we gonna try to find a location out here folks oh wow I typed in a C and tell me why Costa Rica popped up that's crazy I know they don't got no stations in Costa Rica Jeez. Four hundred fifty-four locations. Nah, this ain't right. So for some reason, I'm trying to find a charging station on the website. It's not acting the way I need it to act right now. But if you can look at the the inside of the dashboard, like I said, man. Tesla's going to be, they got to run for their money now, folks. Lose it air. It's, oof. I'm not going to lie, I'm very excited to go ahead and get your electric car because gas is, it's out, man. I was just at Costco the other day filling up. I'm like, yo, man, what's up with these gas prices constantly going up, bruh? And we in a pandemic. I can't do it. It's just... So I'd be irked. I'm annoyed. Paying gas is ain't the way, man. I need to be able to just go ahead and charge my charge my car. Keep it on pushing. Loose the air. Of course, you get the Cali tax incentive and all that good stuff. But hopefully during the springtime. I'm going to go ahead and try to test me drive one of these bad boys because I want to see that 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, though. I, I need to experience that. What's that like? And also, too, got to keep following up with this particular Lucid merger that it seems like any day now something's going to Something's going to pop up as far as legitness behind it because there is a lot, of, a lot of noise right now going on in the news as far as Lucid Mortars. It seems like every time you turn around, they're making a little announcement. Next thing you know, you look at CCIV and it's taking off. I'm like, man. Cause I remember reading this story, man. I read a story about a guy that was buying Tesla stock when it was seven fifty for a 
He just kept buying at these low prices. My man turned out to be a millionaire. I'm like, whoa. And that's another thing. Like, what? That's what I'm. See, that's what I'm thinking. At like, with this loose air, like, what if? What if? You see what Tesla's doing. Tesla's about to be back at a thousand in no time. Over here playing in the eight hundreds. Shot up like a cannon. It was at five four. Hit like thing like maybe six and just blew past six, seven, just hit eight. I said, Whoa. Whoa. Doing pretty well in that particular play in that portfolio as well. Up over like a hundred percent. Something crazy. Something crazy. All my wolf stuff though. I'm playing this one very close to the chest. CCIB. I'm going to need some mo. I'm going to need some mo for sure. I'm going to need some mo. I ain't got time. I'm, I'm definitely going to try to stack up on that. Obviously. Wait to see when this. Ooh, when the when loose mo just finally goes public, folks. Man, it's gonna be like Black Friday shopping. You better go grab some. Cause people gonna be foaming at the mouth. Waiting, waiting to get it. Ooh. That's why I had to jump in now. Let me see. I had to test the water, you know what I'm saying? I had to test the water, man. See what it's talking. Was it talking nice? It's talking nice right now. That's why I'm curious. It's a big week, folks. Big week, folks. Not just for CCIV stocks, but crypto in general, because it's been a minute since Bitcoin's been close to like that 40,000 range. I'm like, hmm. Have the tide, has the tide turned? But things are making some, big one did make some gains, some movement. Feeling like altcoins, though. I feel like right now it might be altcoin season. Eth is over here. I feel like Eth is very quiet right now, but it's, but it's getting some positive movement and when it hit its all time high as well. That two point oh still fairly I feel like it's feel fairly new. Um I feel like it hasn't had really that run that like Bitcoin has had. It's been I mean, yeah, it did shoot up from about what, uh, about five, six, I think, hundred range to probably like a thousand. So I mean, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that did have like a nice little ooh, nice little boom boom. But as far as like that that Bitcoin time run, I'm like, uh, haven't seen it yet. Still waiting on it. I think I think it's gonna. I believe it's going to happen sometime. Just don't know when. But that is... So we get ready to end January already. Close this chapter. Definitely care to see you know, how markets play out. Because uh, there are going to be some potential plays. For sure coming up. And I'm very excited to see how it all plays out. Uh, but I think it's going to wrap it up as far as to, as far as this podcast goes. Just telling y'all, man, this, y'all listen to this episode. Yeah, I'm going to have to hammer it out there. CCIV, Lucid Motors, take, do your due diligence, do some research. And then you and then you can decide. Then you can decide from there. But me, psh, I'm glad to go. Like I said, let let his job and see what's going on. Try to figure out some more information as far as the most official news I can get as far as the merger happening. But I just could keep. Might have to go ahead and put that on Google Alert type type watch, man, because. If it continues to perform like it's performing right now, hello. 
We're going to have ourselves a nice little winner, potentially. I appreciate y'all tuning in to the podcast, man. I hope y'all enjoying it. hope y'all, maybe, maybe y'all learned something. A little, little something, something. But uh, until the next time, y'all, it's your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here. And this was the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Peace.